Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Um, I don't have the camera intentionally turned around because I'm out here for a walk and I'm probably not gonna be out here that long. It's not a hundred degrees. We're we're holding at 90 something, almost a hundred. But this was just on my mind because and it's a fresh thought. This just happened. Now my last video was talking about uh, not letting inconvenience rob you of your blessing or uh, being uncomfortable in certain situations, not letting them stop you, not letting them uh, rob you of your blessing or rob you of the things trying God is trying to do, uh, trying to work out of you. And I just had an example just a minute ago that puts the videos that I'm on here really preaching and going hard in, it put it to practice. You know, sometimes when you're speaking to other people in encouragement and you're telling them the right thing to do, you're exhorting them to good works, sometimes the Lord will turn right around and say, okay. That was good. That sounded wonderful. But what about you? <laughs> what about you? You're right. But what about you? There are things that are uncomfortable in your life. How well do you handle them? How well are you doing with the uncomfortable things? The things that you wish were different. The things that you want to immediately change. How comfortable are you? in those and what are you doing so this past two months i've started working on a brand new job and if you're me you want to do stuff right the first time you're systematic and you go uh, line upon line a precept upon precept because you want to learn the job but you want to learn it right you want to make as little mistakes as possible now, my manager and everybody on the job is nice and everything and extremely helpful. And I take lots and lots of notes because I'm the type of person I want to learn. But after I get a grasp of it, I don't want to have to ask very many more questions after that. I want to just take what I know and flow. And here and there, I ask questions if I need to. But if I'm real honest and blunt, I don't like asking a lot of questions. I don't like trying to grab people and say, hey, can you help me with so and so and so and so? I'm not used to that. But I know in order to learn something new, that's, that's a part of the uncomfortableness that I'm gonna have to get over. Because in order for me to learn this job and do it properly, I'm going to have to ask for help and I'm gonna have to get help and I'm gonna have to keep asking until what I'm trying to learn makes sense to me enough to where I can do it without any help. And I am trying, and I'll just be real honest, I am trying to circumvent that process, but I cannot circumvent that process. I could tell y'all all day long not to do it, ask for help and all of that stuff. And all it is for me, I know is pride, which primarily it is for everybody. It's pride. I don't want to ask no questions. Tell me what to do. Uh, let me do it. Let me flow and go on. But God did not create me to be an island to myself or you either. We need each other. I got something that can help you. You got something that can help me. But we can't help each other if we don't reach out to help each other. So I've been reaching out and asking for help. And I was doing a process a couple of days ago. And I hadn't done it since I started. And so I said, before I go any further, let me ask somebody to look this over to make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. So I reached out to a coworker and asked, you know, how does this look? I haven't done one in a month. I mean, is this right or do I need to do something different? 
and she looked at it and she said well this right here that you've done that's fine but right here you can you need to change this she said but other than that one change everything looks great you can you can fly with that and i was like very good so i didn't forget too much so i changed what she said and i continued on and i finished it and i turned it in well there's another set of people that look over what you've done before it's finalized so today the lady that finalizes the spread the spread sheets that we do she looked it over and she said um and she was real nice she was like well you know you need to do a b c and d and i was thinking i didn't know what she meant <laughs> i don't have a clue as to what she's talking about and immediately i thought well did my co-worker tell me wrong intentionally I mean, could what I'm doing be this wrong? I mean, what is it? And so, in the back of my mind, going back to the default mechanism in my head, we'll see. That's why I don't trust anybody now. That's 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 why I don't. That's why I don't like asking questions or doing stuff because everybody won't give you a straight answer when you ask and it's hard to know what to ask when you just started somewhere because you don't you're not in the flow yet really you don't know you don't know what you're doing and that's another thing i have a problem with not knowing exactly what i'm doing and having to depend on other people to help me so i said and i have another problem too when you are um when you are giving me feedback and the managers ask you to give me feedback, that's one thing. But it's like now, every time I ask a question or seemingly every time I ask a question, uh, the coworkers are responding back to me, but they are copying my boss. And I'm about to address that too. I wanna find out if that's standard protocol or not. Or if it's just me. You see all of the 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 um uh hesitations that, that have come up. All of this is uncomfortable. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna email. I'm gonna answer it back. Well, I sent the email before I left. And I said, I'm new. I've been here two months. So I'm throwing myself on the mercy of your knowledge. I need you to tell me exactly what it is I need to do, how I need to do it, and explain it to me in a way that I understand because clearly I have not been, I, I did not understand exactly, but I did ask a coworker before if I was doing it properly and she told me that it was. So you tell me exactly what it is you want me to do and I'll do it. That's the only way I know I can solve it. I can write everything down, make sure going forward next time that I can do what I need to do. But for me, it's backtracking. And if I have to complete assignments and I keep backtracking, I know all of this is training. My boss does too. He had a discussion with me yesterday. All of this is training. You're at home, but you're still training. There's still things you're going to learn. It's going to take you six months to a year to get in the groove of things. Don't beat yourself up. Don't be too hard on yourself. But I don't like this. I don't like it. If I'm told what to do and I can flow in it, I understand it, or I feel like I understand it, and I flow in it, it's very irritating to me for somebody to come back. It's not that... You know, can't nobody tell me nothing. No, I need for you to tell me, but I need for you to tell me before I start. <laughs> before I start, I, I'm like I, I'm. I am vehemently opposed to backtracking. I don't like it. I will do it, but all of this 
this whole rant and that's basically what it is it's a rant i'm gonna fix it it's gonna get done the lord is gonna have his way but what the lord is working out of me and i feel like i had to come on here and say the same thing because he may be working the same thing out of me that he's working out of y'all and that's this sense of self-sufficient pride now you should aim to be self-sufficient the bible tells you to work with your hands and mind your own business so you could win the respect of outsiders and to not be dependent on anybody the bible tells you that but the bible does not tell you that you can be or expect to ever be an island to yourself you need people and people need you so the the i'm alone i just get what i get go back in my shell let me fly i'm good god's pulling me out of that and i'm going out kicking and screaming because i'm not used to that i'm used to um perfecting what i need to perfect and going on i have no problem with stopping everything i'm doing to help you and i want to get to the point where i have i want to keep that same energy when it comes to me reaching out to ask somebody else to help me but but brothers and sisters i am not there <laughs> I am absolutely not there. But maybe the Lord is presenting me with this group of people to help me get there. I mean, coming from a background in my, um, part of my testimony is on my page. And if you, if you listen to the video about my testimony to the glory of God, then you will hear in some areas where the ball has been majorly dropped and i am struggling with major trust issues now those are things i'm working out i put them before god and uh in a little while i'm gonna be in counseling for it and several other different issues but so i am working on it actively and i understand that it's not them it's me and it's a work that god is trying to do to get this out of me because i've been this way forever and it's most uncomfortable but i will not allow the uncomfortableness of this and the drawing out that god is doing which to me is painful uh to puff me up in pride and keep me in a place where he can't use me next because i'm like lord i feel like i'm ready for next i feel like i'm ready for you to use me in a different way i don't feel like i'm being utilized at all i don't feel like uh i'm of service really to anybody i mean i just don't if if you want the honest truth i just don't i try to be helpful i thrive on being helpful i love helping people and i don't really care who they are i just want to be a help to them not a hindrance so when i don't feel like i'm helping anybody i feel like you know who can i help one of my prayers every day when i get up in the morning is lord who can i bless today who can i help today who can be glad and wear a smile on their face because I did something that put it there. Whose burden can I ease just a little bit? That's my prayer every day. I get up and I desire to do that. I love doing that. That's the joy, that's the joy of my life. Being a help and a blessing to somebody else. It's a blessing. It keeps me lifted in spirit. It really does. More than anything you could buy or anything you could do for me. Me being able to help somebody else, really help them when they need it, it's everything to me. But I'm going to have to go through the uncomfortable period. Learn all I can learn. 
do all I can do. I'm going to have to step aside and let the Lord have his way because on this, he's pressing. He is pressing because he wants this gone. I might not be able to be utilized the way he wants me to because of this. No man is an island unto himself. Everybody needs somebody. And sure, I've reached my hand out to people and got burnt, burnt, burnt. I've had people lie on me. I've had people sabotage me, go behind my back, run me down to the boss, lie on me to get me fired. I've had managers that have actively sought to get rid of me, not because of job performance, not because of mess and drama I was keeping up with the office. The opposite. I'm in the office and I'm sitting. I didn't, I didn't, I've had a couple of positions like this. I've been in the office sitting, learning the job, know the job, doing the job, saying hi, saying bye, minding my own business and getting caught up in all sorts of drama at, on tiptoe edge of getting fired. Uh, but then it's just some boss, one boss actually told me, I can't stand you. I said, what did I do to you? And she said, you haven't done anything to me. I don't know what it is about you, but I can't stand you. And she went out of her way for years to actively get me fired. The boss before her was doing everything she could to fire me. And she took up the mantle. And I saw that woman retire and I was still there. But by the time we retired or she retired, not only was she was I still there, but we have a we had a relationship based on mutual understanding and respect. I don't I don't to this day know why she would say I can't stand you. I don't know. But and she may still feel that way, but there's a mutual respect there. When she needed me most, I was there. And so there is a respect there that we have and we have a relationship there. I don't believe she feels that way about me now, but she did and she did for years because it's easier to follow a template that's doable than it is to break out and do something completely different. And this time last year, when I retired, that's what I asked the Lord for, not to follow the old template, but to break out and do something completely different. And for me, this is it. But how I navigate going forward is going to determine how successful I am. And the Lord says to me and to you, you are not an island to yourself. You can't do things the way you've always done them and get something brand spanking new. It doesn't work like that. It's not going to work like, it hasn't worked like that before. Hi. And it's not going to work like that now. So you are going to have to sit yourself down, humble yourself, get off this pride, and allow yourself to be cared for like you want to be cared for. You have people who want to help you, let them. Be as transparent as possible. All of this is a foreign territory to me, but I see what God is trying to do. I see what he's trying to do. And it has to be because the next steps are going to require I do it. When God keeps bringing you the same type of test over and over and over, it's because it's, 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 it's predicated on you passing this test to get to the next step. So I'm going to humble myself and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repent for my attitude. And I'm going to let go and I'm going to let God have his way. And I'm not going to let inconvenience get in my way. 
I'm not going to let uncomfortable situations get in my way. I'm not going to let humility, I mean, a uh, lack of humility or pride get in my way. I'm going to be what God wants me to be and do something brand new. And I'm going to do it with a brand new attitude. And I'm asking the Lord in the name of Jesus to grant that to me and to everybody who's listening who this message resonates with. You know who you are. If you're a control freak like me, just take your shoes off and say, ouch. <laughs> well, that's it. That's all I want to say. But just think about it. If it applies to you, think about it. Could what you're asking the Lord for, something brand new, a brand new door to open, brand new opportunity, brand new relationship, could it be that you have put yourself on the island, Gilligan, and you won't allow anybody in because you've been burnt so many times your trust is gone? Just think about it. Think about it. God bless y'all. Y'all have an awesome day.